Hey guys, I had a request to do another video on Nextcloud because I showed how to do some stuff and I did it through uh, Nginx and I'm going to do things through Cloudflare today. So I'm going to go into my Dockage web UI here because I'm going to launch this from Dockage instead of doing it from TrueNOS. I'm going to do things just a little bit differently this time. So I'm going to launch a compose file here. I'm going to come over to the wiki. I'm going to grab my Nextcloud services just like this. Okay, go over here. I'm going to do a paste. I'm going to call this next cloud. What port do I have this on? 8887, which I'm pretty sure is open. Looks pretty good. Let's launch this. Okay. There we go. HTTPS. Okay, so we're going to create an admin account. Now this isn't going to work because I need to actually use a secure password. So let's come over here and we're going to do something way more secure. So in another window, I'm just going to use a password generator and I'm going to generate something long like that. Okay, install. All right, I'm going to skip all this. You guys can do that on your own if you want to do that. So this is the standard splash screen for Nextcloud. Okay, not worried about all that. Cool, so that's running. So now let's get our tunnels going. So what I wanna do is, I know it's running on this address right here. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come over here and create a new tunnel. I'm gonna select Cloudflare. Tunnel name is going to be tests because of course I'm gonna delete it but you guys can name it something fun. Okay, remember what I want to do? I want to come over here to Docker. I want to copy this whole string. And then I want to text editor up like this. And I want to take this token, these two lines, and copy those out. All right, come back to my Chernos. I'm going to discover apps, cloud flared, like that. Install that with the new token, like that. Good. There's my Cloudflare tunnel. And it says connected, so we're good to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna call this cloud, HTTPS, HTTP. Actually, it might be an HTTPS. I'm gonna try HTTP first and see if that works. Um, this is 10, 9, 0, 191, and I think it's 8887 is what I said I put it on. 8887. All right, so that's going to be good. Let's save top this tunnel. There's my public host name. There it is. Let's try and go there. All right, so there we go. So it does need to be HTTPS. So we're going to make some quick changes here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to change this to HTTPS. Then we we'll come over to additional application settings. And we are going to do a no TLS verify, just like that. It's necessary to do that because it's got its own certificate. It's going to freak out if you don't do that. So we're going to save this host name. Okay, let's try this again. Good. This is what we should be getting. Now our tunnel is connected. You see cloud.service at home. Okay. So we're doing good so far. This is actually a really good thing. We're going to come back out to our file browser. Remember, it's admin, admin. Come over to tank, stacks, next cloud. And what I want to do really fast before I do anything is I want to stop this container. Okay, that container stopped. So now I want to come back over to my file browser. Not that. Not this. File browser. Config, I think it is. www. Next cloud, big. Yep, here it is. So that was a pretty complicated path. So just follow that path over there. Um, config.php. Here we go. This is what I want to edit. See this array? I need to add another. We need to add another entry right here. So right before that comma, actually right after that comma, I believe it is. I think it should look like this. So it's going to be one equals my little arrow. Follow the formatting exactly. Uh, it's going to be cloud dot servers at home 
just like that. We're going to do another flash fade. We're going to do a comma. Sorry. Just like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Comma. Good. That should be it. So it should look just like the one above it. Same formatting. Make sure to do that exactly right. We're going to save that. Now we're going to come back in here and start next cloud again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's come back out here, see if we can get there. Check that out. So we're good to go. And let's come over here with my super secure password, which is annoying to type. Okay. Good. We're in. Okay. Now, we're going to need to do some stuff. I'm actually going to come back out of here because I need to stop this now. Actually, really, I need to edit this. What I want to do is I want to show you guys how to do an external mount path. So if I have a directory on my TrueNAS um, that's got, that I want to use to store all my NextCloud data, which is what a lot of people do, we have to pass that in as a volume mount. So on the external of this container, it's going to be mount tank. Now I'm just going to pass my media directory in just to show you guys. Uh, I'm not going to call it media. I'm just going to call it external. This is very important. Uh, there's already a media directory in NextCloud, and it'll mess up if I mount as media. But I'm just going to pass this whole directory, which is this how it looks on my true NAS box. Internally, it's going to be at slash external. But you can call us anything you want as long as it doesn't exist on NextCloud already. And if you want to know what exists on NextCloud already, come back out here. NextCloud. This is what already exists on NextCloud. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I, you can poke around if you want. But again, I'm just going to rename this as external. So now I'm going to pass this mount. Let's deploy this. And again, you can use any directory you want. I'm just going to use my media directory just to, as an example. So it's doing its thing. I'm watching its logs. It looks like it's good to go. All right, so let's come back out here. Let's go to my default on instance. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So let's go to the administration. Uh, let's check administration settings first just to make sure we're good. See all these yellow? This is just some stuff that's it's recommended. If you see anything in red up here, that's what you have to pay attention to. Yellow is, is not terrible. All right, so let's come over here to apps. We want to go to our disabled apps. See, it says external storage support. By default, it's disabled. We are going to enable this. Now I'm going to come over here, type my gigantic password again, which I probably should change, but it's okay. There we go. Now we're good. Now let's come over here to our administration settings. Cool. See this thing where it says external storage? Not that one. There should be another one here. External storage. This one down here under administration. Here we go. So now I'm going to call it, this is the folder name is what it's going to be called, I think, in NextCloud. So we're going to call this the media folder. We're going to add local storage, local. There you go. Configuration. This is the location. This right here, this box, is whatever I passed it into the container as. I want to make it available for everybody. Mm -hmm. Got the green check. I also want to do one more thing. I want to enable sharing. And that's going to give me the ability to make share links. So we're going to click the green check mark or green check. Good stuff. Let's come back over to my files. Mm -hmm. There we go. Media. See how it's got the little icon here? This means it's an external drive mount. Look at that. All my directories. Backups. Scheduled. That's so cool. Downloads. There's nothing in it. Well, there's my torrents folder, but there's nothing in this because it's all empty. Movies. Empty. TV. Empty. One of the other cool things I can do now is because I did this, I can create a share link. So if I had something in my movies folder or I wanted to share my movies folder, I can create a share link just like that. It's a view only. Let's paste this in here. See, and now I got my full domain name in there, so anybody can access this. So, like that. Look at that. No files in here. So there we did. That's 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 how we did it. So now we've launched Nextcloud from within Dockage, uh, and it's it's in its own. When we come over here to our data, we have a data and config file, so we could always restore it if we want to delete it and come back to it. Uh, we've passed an external drive mat in here. So you can see something on your TrueNOS box. We've gone into our Cloudflare and gave it, given it a full domain name so it can be accessed anywhere. And we've used our file browser to come in here and add an entry to the array so we don't get the untrusted domain. So that's how to do NextCloud behind all these things.